Next question is from Magnetic Beauty 101. What do you think of push, pull, and leg routines? Well, this is a perfect transition from that question, right? Because yeah. it this is what I th- I love this type of routine. I follow this um, a lot. Like I, this works for me. But if I have a challenge with it, it's if, if I'm having a hard time being really consistent with the gym. If you're somebody who religiously hits the gym four times or five times a week and you never miss a day. Um, then yeah, there's there's nothing wrong with a routine like this. I think it's a, a great routine. If you're getting to every muscle group two to three times a week and you're doing that consistently, I think there's a lot of value in in training this way. Um, as I've gotten older and and other priorities in my life with business and family, uh, it it's become harder and harder for me to train four or five days a week really consistently to run a routine like this. And so I'm back to running a more full body type of routine and it just serves me better. Uh, I know that I had a a, a rough week just two weeks ago where I only trained once, you know, and if I only trained once, I wouldn't want to land on just a, you know, just a leg day or just a, you know, chest and back day. And then I missed the other body parts. Like at least I got a full body routine. My body did not miss getting stimulated. My entire body didn't get missed stimulated that previous week just because I was inconsistent with everything else. Yeah, so for for you those of you listening who don't aren't familiar with what this type of routine is. So it's it's a type of a split routine where you break the body up uh, into body parts and you train different body parts on different days. So a push day uh, refers to typically chest, mm-hmm. shoulders and triceps. A pull day typically refers to back and biceps. And then, of course, leg refers to uh, the legs. Now, if you only work out three days that week, you hit each of those body parts once, Mm -hmm. one time. If you do a full body routine and you work out three times that week, you've hit all the body parts three times. So that increased frequency, uh, like Adam's talking about, tends to make it uh, superior. To get the same kind of frequency out of a push-pull routine, a push-pull leg routine, you wouldn't be able to uh, because there's seven days in a week, and so at most you'd hit each area twice a week. You'd have to make up the difference with volume. Now, I know what the studies say, and the studies say if the volume is the same, there's not that big of a difference. I disagree. I've trained lots and lots of people. I've trained myself, and uh, more frequency, uh, I'd say 80% of the time works better. It's just not that. It's I mean, even it, nobody ever trains like a study. You know, for six weeks, it just doesn't. Ha- real life happens, and that's. I mean, that that to me is the real difference maker in the stuff that we talk about on the show. Is that we always take into consideration like behavior mm-hmm. and the behaviors that I've seen training tons of people for this long is that and and myself, who's a fit, who's a fit, who's supposed to be a fitness fanatic. Yeah. Life happens, and sometimes I only get to the gym once in a week. And if I'm going to do that, I'd much rather not be in the middle of my push pull root, split routine. I'd much rather be doing a full body so that like I said, at least everything is getting touched. Otherwise, you have these weeks where inconsistency might happen, and then what do you do when you start over again? And everybody tends to start over at the, either the beginning of the push pull routine or they start over on the muscle group that they love training. It's just it's yeah. it's 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 behaviors. Yeah, but here's the here's the point that I want to make though. Let's just say you're right. This doesn't happen in real life, but let's just pretend that it's perfect. Push pull legs versus full body. Everything's perfect. So uh, let's compare the two. Here's why I still think more frequency is better for most people. You get to practice the exercises more often. Yeah. So even though the volume might be controlled for, you might hit your legs twice a week, so you're squatting twice a week, which is a very complex exercise. And a lot of the gains you get from a squat is the central nervous system adaptation, the practicing of the exercise. A full body routine means you could practice squatting at least three times that week. So it's that practice element that everybody forgets Mm -hmm. uh, that I think is extremely important. And if you're super advanced, that might be not as important. But like I said, this is my 100% belief. About 80 to 85% of everybody listening right now is going to just get better results across the board on a full body routine than they would on any kind of a split, including a push-pull leg routine. And by the way, yes, push-pull leg and those kind, they can be effective. I mean, we have a program that follows a split called MAP Split. Mm-hmm. But for most people, the full body just always works out but better. But it's still like in progression after aesthetic, which like this is, you know, like uh, this is something a little bit more advanced. And so I, I look at it like that. I look at it like an advanced technique. Like you're, you're mentioning the practicing element. That's a huge component. You got to really get familiar with all these exercises. And a much better approach uh, for doing that is the full body routines. 